All right, welcome back guys. So in this video, well, first off, I got this from Midwest Safety because they've just had some gems lately, but they had a Moorish Sovereign Citizen grace their channel, and I don't think they caught that. So we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about that. Just to uh, be warned, this person is extremely ignorant, extremely uneducated, and extremely racist. It happens more towards the end of the video, but spoiler alert, just like the racist pastor that I covered before, this person is also going to be claiming they're in the law community when clearly the fuck they're not. Enjoy the video. Police department. I need to speak with you. Who do you need to speak with? Are you Bartholomew? No, my last name is Bartholomew Bay. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. last name is a surname that's to be respected. Now that is where I think Midwest Safety didn't catch it, and most people won't catch it because the subtitles didn't pick it up. So, for those of you who have been around the block and know what a Moorish Sovereign Citizen is, you can probably skip the next minute and a half, 30 seconds. For those new people, I know there's some new people that don't know what a Moorish Sovereign Citizen is. Well, we'll jump right to that and we'll say what a Moorish Sovereign Citizen is. So, I want to get to the bottom, but... This is from the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is absolutely garbage in like 90% of the things that they do. But their definitions of sovereign citizens and more sovereign citizens seem to be fairly accurate. So I always go with those ones. So more sovereign citizens, uh, it's a movement, which is a collection of independent organizations and individuals that emerged in the early 1990s as an offshoot of the anti-government sovereign citizen movement. That's a bit weird. Noble Drew Ali dates back to like the beginning of the 19, uh, 1900s, I guess. So this is a, a bit wrong on that. Uh, adherents believe that the individual citizens hold sovereignty over and are independent of the authority of the federal and state governments. This is the part which is terrific, and I also want a fez like that. Members of the Moorish sovereigns called Moors have clashed with federal and state authorities over their refusal to obey laws and government regulations. To, I believe this year, like in the last 12 months, there has been three Moorish sovereign citizens. Two have shot at police. One, I believe, was in Dallas. The other one was in, oh, dear Lord, a county in Florida. I'm drawing the blank. They have a dope sheriff. And another one took place in somewhere in Pennsylvania where a guy was trying to squat in a house. I don't know if he shot at the officers, but he he ended up looking like Swiss cheese. So, yes, that's accurate. Recently, more sovereign citizens have engaged in violent confrontations with law enforcement. I should have read a sentence further. They have also been known to retaliate against the government authorities through financial means, a process called paper terrorism. More sovereign citizens espouse an interpretation of the sovereign doctrine that, this is a great one here, that African Americans constitute an elite class within American society with special rights and privileges that convey them a sovereign immunity, placing them beyond federal and state authority. Uh, yeah, that is what I'm talking about when I say, oh, Moors are the most dangerous. Moors are the craziest. Because of that last bit, I'm going to expand on that. I know I'm already 2 minutes and 33 seconds. For some reason, they believe the country of Morocco at one point either conquered the world or was in charge of the entire world, even though there's no historical proof of that. But they think that they were here first. They think that they helped America beat the British during the Revolutionary War. It, it, the theories or the conspiracy theories go on and on with these people, but back to the video. And on top of that, if you are not the officer that came on behalf of me, the need to speak with you is... I can't really hear you, man, because you're talking behind a closed door. Right, and you should, because your ears weren't even to a closed door. So I need you to open the door and identify yourself, and I need you to leave the hotel. No, I'm not, and no, I'm not. Okay, then you'll go to jail. Okay. You're good with that? Run it, run, run it in that order, sir. Okay. I got a room registered to me, which they would need to provide me a refund as well. They want you to leave. And I'm saying I want a refund if I'm going to. Okay, that's a civil I, matter. No, Listen. I don't have to leave because the police is at my door. It's actually a civil matter. They need to evict me out of the hotel. That's not the case. Uh, how you gonna, uh, well, show me it's the case that I'm just simply going to go to jail because okay. I have an issue here. And I'm talking to you through the door. You just stand right. here by himself? So I'm talking to you. I think it's a girlfriend or wife or something. I think it's a girl sometimes. Is that his voice? Yeah, that's his voice. First of all, that's the first of all. Oh, well, I'll turn the hair for a moment. 
Are you going to open the door for us? No, you spoke to the manager, right? Yeah, we'll bring it. Other way. No. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring it. Other way. No. You gotta thank the door. Yes, I did. That was real silly. Police department, right? Yeah, go ahead and open that for me. No, I'm not. And I've already said I'm using the restroom. So I'm going to make sure you get in here. I didn't hear that. It doesn't sound like you're in the uh, restroom. Oh, oh, I, I bet it does. I bet it does since we recorded. I bet you this is where so, I've been. And I got shit in the toilet with motherfucking okay. tissue in my hand. Again, you need to pack your stuff and leave. No, no, you're not getting ready to tell me that through the door. Shut the door. No, if you refuse, you'll go to jail for trespass. Shut that door. No, I'm, I'm going to leave. Are you recording? Yes, I am. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the individual inside. We handle this type of stuff in court all the time. And I do mean all the time. The fact that you just opened that door, your name is Officer who? Cunningham. Officer Cunningham. You mean to tell me you opened that door while I said I was inside of the restroom? Right, Did you open that door while I said I was inside of a restroom? Are you going to come unlock this so we can handle this civilly or are you going to be... No, I'm going to use the bathroom. You're going to back off because I have the right to do that in a room I paid for. You're not going to come like you're some form of authority that is going to begin to move me. You're doing nothing but me getting the issue. You are law enforcement. You are not trespassing until you've been kicked off of the property. I've signed the trespassing paper and you even got to go to court for it. So I've broken down the more logic for this exact scenario before, and sorry I'm laughing, I got a minute into the clip, made a funny joke, completely blew my train of thought, so here I am starting over. But this type of logic is, by their logic, if someone breaks into your house, you would have to then evict them. If somebody broke into your house, the only way the police could trespass them is if they just left your house out of the kindness of their heart, which is not the case. So, the way this works is... If you, the way you get a trespass notice, you get trespassed, you kindly leave, they give you a trespass notice that you sign, and it says, you know, can't come back for X amount of days, months, years, ever again, yada yada. If you refuse to leave, then you are arrested for trespassing. So this extremely uneducated and racist human being is wrong. Uh, that's just, that's just the way it is. It turns out, you know, spoiler alert, uh, this person behind two doors in the shitter, uh, that wasn't my funny joke. They are behind on paying for their hotel room, therefore squatting. And I believe they've only been there for a few days, so it's not like they've created residency at the hotel. So they don't need to be evicted. They're trespassing. They're trying to kick them out via trespassing. But apparently they've taken this to court many, many times and lost. But here they are trying it again. Because that's not truly how trespassing works. That's just how you've been operating. This is a business. This is not your residence. Saying something that may be against me like, and I'm a female in the restroom. Ha ha! Have they processed the uh, refund? There was no refund because you used yeah. all your money. Okay, I paid for two days yesterday. So would that be yesterday and today, right? You used all your money already. I just paid $150 yesterday, right? And you were already behind. I was not behind. I was paid up. We started a new week yesterday. You used all your money and I can show you that as well. Okay, provide me the receipt. Bring it, send it through. Give me just one second. I'm actually gonna give you a call back. Uh, I want to go through this situation, then I'm going to call you and let you know about these three officers at the hotel trying to bust through this door right now. I didn't even say I'm in a restroom. So if you heard all the other conversations through the door, you see, you ain't dealt with anybody as smart as me. You okay, deal with cruel, you open the door, people please? who are degenerated in low in mind. We have. Can you provide the receipt? We would like you to open the door so we can resolve this. You, you can't leave. even resolve it. You're law enforcement. We you have like to enforce the law. We need you. Now, they have to continue to adhere to the policy. Would you like to provide a receipt that shows me that I'm paid up, no money is owed, so I can continue to leave? Thank you. Uh, Are you looking at this? You can even keep your foot on the door. The thing is, I paid for this room and I'm paid up. Even okay. if they wanted me to leave today, that does not give me, that makes me, that does not make me unauthorized to still shut this door. In the state of no, it doesn't. I still have the work, I still have the right to open it. You shut that door on me, I'm taking you to jail. Say what? Shut that door on me and I will take you to jail. Guess what? You came in my Hit house on the door. before. And put, I bet you, I would Listen, not, that assault wouldn't hold up. Stop before. talking for like I two bet seconds. you that wouldn't hold up. Stop before. talking. No, I don't have okay. to. No, I told you, you better look up that Moroccan knife. I kid you not, 
the officers have never dealt with anybody as educated as her. They're normally dealing with degenerated criminals. Yes, she said that directly after saying she's educated. Right at the end, you'll know why I stopped it. You better look up that Moroccan national. Uh, ma'am, that means, that means absolutely nothing. Oh, this won't hold up in court. You came to my house. Uh, ma'am, it's a hotel. It's, it's not your home, it's a hotel. Let's get this straight. It's the fact that she's not paid, and then thinking she can just stay there indefinitely, and it makes it her house. This is the problem with Moors, specifically. They try to squat everywhere. Homes, apartments, hotels. And they think that because they're... Uh, what was the word that the... Let's see here. Uh, interpretation of the doctrine of African Americans constitute an elite class within American society with special rights and privileges. Yeah, it turns out if you go to a private business and try to squat there, that's not going to fly. If you go to Walmart and say, oh, well, I paid for a water. Why can't I live here? That's what they're currently doing. Open that door now. How does this work? How does that work? Um, you're tearing up their property for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Provide me a receipt. Open the door now. To Listen. To their property. They should provide me a receipt so I'm able to get my property and leave here. They have no reason to do that. Oh, I'm on your back. Say, hey, I'm a Morrison. Rocky National. This is hey, I'm on your back. Stop resisting. Hey, that's not resisting. I'm Stop not resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting. This is lies. This is lies. That's fine. Quit this is resisting. Quit taking your arms And first of all, you need to walk in and tell me why I'm being detained. Sir, please nope. put your hands behind your back. I don't have to. Sir, I, uh, you grabbed me and back. didn't even tell me. Oh, you did not tell me you have the right to remain fighting. You did not back. tell me why I'm being detained. Oh, You're doing this. Back. As you can see, they're fighting me and throwing me out of anger. Guess what? Put your I'm a hands behind your back. I'm a female. Get on the other side. I've done absolutely nothing wrong. And I'm a female being handled this way. Hey, man, come get the wrist. Come and get the wrist. Remember they did this? Remember this? They showed this already. Yep, that's against the law. Please. That's against the Please. law. Sir, Stop. babe, you see already. Sir, you're making me scared. Please. No, I'm, you sir, can't you're be scared. scaring me. I, you can't I be scared. Your hands My hands are sir. falling. Please stop. You can Don't do it, Tay. Please stop. I'm not going to Put Please your hand stop. behind your back. I am standing do here with my pants down. One more. So how am I going to get Tay? Adam six one more. How am Tay? Can I get your body cam on you? resisting. That's a woman. I'm not resisting, I'm resisting. And they Please. told you this in court now. Please stop. George Floyd didn't teach you this Please isn't stop, resisting. Sir. That you can't do Please this stop. truly. Don't do Please that. Stop. Don't do that. Please stop. This is not going to hold up. Resisting. This is not going to hold up. Please stop. How am I resisting? You tell me in court with 12 jurors, how am I resisting? You could use another. How am I resisting? You're not bringing me out my pants down. Well, you are not. You are not walking me down. Oh, she got you on camera. You can do it. Get on your stomach. I shouldn't even have to get on the floor. Get on your stomach. Oh, I, I Moorish American, Moroccan national. Mm, no. No, you're not because those things aren't real. They're just not real. Sorry. You're not a Moroccan national. You're just dumb. Glue fondue is bad for your brain. And then the comparison to George Floyd. Oh, did you learn nothing from George Floyd? Last I checked, George Floyd wasn't trespassing at a hotel. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that that's accurate. Second, this won't hold up in court. Uh, it's, not, it's not resisting. You're under arrest, and you're currently fighting the officers putting your hand behind your back to get cuffed. So yes, that's going to stand up in court 100 times out of 100. Oh, you have to read me my rights. They're not asking you questions. They're still trying to arrest you. Rumor has it. In the midst of fighting to arrest someone, someone's not going to stand up and be like, oh, we got to read them the rights. That's not the, uh, the order of operations, if you will. To, you ain't hiding this. Boy, you, I'm a Moroccan national. Oh, my God. You really think this is going to hold up? She just got full video of you. You thought coming out here and kneeing me in my head. I'm about to contact her. She has the highest clearance you can have. You have anything in the pockets that can block me? Nope. Highest clearance you can have in the Pentagon. Guess how she's about to feel about this. Babe, I'm right. call my Aunt Wani and call Aunt Monica. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, babe, they, they shouldn't even have me push down. I was standing up. Right now, he's trying to make sure I can't breathe. He put me in the George Floyd. Can you come in the front? Babe, they got me in the same position George Floyd was in. The exact. They had me in the exact same position George Floyd was in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we're going to stand up or we're going to walk out. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, love.
You know I'm getting ready to buy right out and come down. Nope, that's his or property. You know I'm buying it out and coming down. Babe, can you let them know to give me your property? Oh no, that's her property. Oh. Give it. To give no, her. It's going with I'm you. Now I am telling it's you to give my property you. over. It's going oh, with you. No, it's not. You, I can I can determine where my property wow. goes. Babe, come down. And listen, nobody even said why I'm going to jail. Do y'all know this when I go in? You never even arrested me and said why I'm going in. Testing 1134. And I can put my pants up. No, I don't have to do that, bro. You literally You're just did this while she got on camera. Not what would you tell your kids? What would I tell my kids? Probably the things that your parents neglected to tell you. Don't be a fucking racist. Don't be uneducated. Don't be ignorant. Don't believe in revisionist history. Those are the things that I would tell my children. The fact that you're, this is the second time in a, in a Moore video in the last week and a half, where a Moore says, oh, I know somebody with the highest clearance in the Pentagon. No, you don't. Just because you know a janitor at the Pentagon does not mean you know anyone at the actual Pentagon. Congratulations. Like, the janitor is not going to get you out of jail. Oh, give her my property. No. Your property is going to jail as evidence. We're going to inventory it and put it in a secure location. If she wants to come get it and sign the paperwork for it, you sign the paperwork, sure. Then maybe she can have it. But right now, that's all evidence, so go fuck yourself. I'm gonna be all right. Babe, I promise you, I'm gonna be all right, okay? Now, I'm about to talk to three men who have some man in their life that they're raising right now. I don't care if it's your grandson, your nephew, or anything. And I know you guys have seen too much on TV right now. Why you didn't come in here to a hotel where I was locked in a room and you pretended like you were going to be the one attacked with three officers with guns on them where I'm the most intimidated person in society right now in this denominator. You guys are killing black people out here, but you were scared with three guns. You let them come in and buy law before you detain someone. What do you have to do? You were asked to leave. You were what told you, you were going to be under arrest. By law, do when you arrest someone, what do you do? What do you do by law? You have to what? Inside of the arrest, what do you have to do? Because I study it, I'm a paralegal student. No report, now, no, you don't want to throw me on the here. ground anymore? You don't want to put your knee in my neck and choke me? You thought you watched that and you think it's okay? You literally watched that in a non-violent situation and you feel like macho. He's not going to prove this later. And then you're on camera and he has to try to clean it up. Are you serious? Give my property over to my uh, wife. Now, if you tell me I can't get my, my property to my wife, I know something. I'm a female. I keep telling you that. You uh, seen them grab my cat? Yeah. Thank you. You yeah. seen them grab my cat? Yeah. Oh, my God. I told you I'm a female. Now you just sexually harassed me. Now you just uh, sexually assaulted me, and you knew it. You put me in the position of George Floyd when I mentioned it, and then I tell you I'm a woman, and you still stick your hands between my legs to where I can feel your fingers on my lips. No, sir. Well, you don't want a job. I know who you are. No, uh, uh, you, you, don't, you know who I am because you've already verified it. Let me hurry up and get out for trespassing. Officer Cunningham, you're not. I hate that you just did this. You need a, uh, uh, look the other way for me. No, I don't have to look the other way. Listen, do you got to hope you have you a video on the inside too. You guys just it several times. It's unlawful to leave a dog or it's unlawful to leave a dog or even a person in a car when it's a certain degree. So you go by Taylor or Adam Oh no, Adam my Adamus. real name, that surname. So why would I go by Taylor if you have my ID? All right, so what you're seeing is more than likely the thumbnail for the video. So I'm going to try to read this, but it's a printout of a fake ID, so bear with me. It looks like it says, a Lodial American National Identification Card, Substantive Birth Rights, because I can't read it. So this is a typical fake Moorish American ID card that you can purchase off of any Moorish American website before it gets shut down because it's bullshit. And this person in the back seat is rolling with this and then also claiming ties at the highest level at the Pentagon, even though the Pentagon considers these people an offshoot of a domestic terrorist organization. You do the math there. I'm pretty sure if I'm pretty sure if you had somebody like this in your family, like a direct relative, your clearance would no longer be a clearance at the Pentagon. Just going to throw that out there. Also, the whole George Floyd thing, I'm not going to jump into it too much, but at no point did the officer and this is on the recording at no point did they put their their knee in her neck. At no point did they choke her. George Floyd was, I'm again not going to get into it, 
he was not a good man. He was a very, very terrible human being, and I'll leave it at that. I'm just trying to figure it out, man, because you have different no, ideas. You're, you're gone, but did you know you were supposed to be, you tell me why I was being arrested? You are now being detained. You haven't stopped talking since I first made contact. I don't have so. to. I don't have if you would to. like me to explain you that to you, I will. No, you should have already been answering questions. Are you going to go into private policing like a lot of the corrupt officers? Or do you guys go into private police? You, I want you guys to explain. You laid a person down to pull their pants up. You had me standing up and then threw me on the ground and pretended to pull my pants up. I want to know how you're going to explain that like that was the best thing that you had to do. Like if I was vertical, it would have been easy pulling my pants vertical than it would trying to drag them horizontal while I'm laying on the ground. And then it never buttoned them up. And then for that means if my pants are never buttoned, you ran your hands right through my boxers. You didn't even call to let him tell you that. <laughs> I know you guys are going to be picking your jaws up off the floor in just a second. This person, uh, bro dude, we'll call them, uh, they were charged with resisting, shocker to no one, and trespassing, just like we all knew was going to happen from the beginning of the video. Apparently they're still in shock. Oh, you didn't tell me even though the person when they were in the backseat said trespassing several times, but eh, whatever. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Go give Midwest Safety a like, subscribe. Uh, they're almost at, I believe, a million subscribers, so go do that. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.